Hi, this is Reverb Audio, and uh, I'm going back to loudspeaker recommendations again because uh, Ramsey Edward is uh, asking me about a specific uh, uh, choice. Is that uh, there's the LG LHD677 on discount, and whether he should get it or not, and uh, and uh, he he feels that the technology, at least the screen, is a little bit old because he wants it for a movie surround for home theater. But let's just have a look at uh, at the loudspeakers. So now I'm not going to look at at the screen. Uh, because for the screen, my experience is that uh, if it's not 4K technology, it depends a lot on your uh, power system, on your line AC, on what will be the picture quality that you are getting. If your line conditioning is uh, superb for video, then even older technology screen will look as sharp as as wonderful as 4k and considering that most of the uh, films and movies out there are not 4k uh, then it's i myself i am not going for 4k and partially because of this reason because i have um, i am using a projector and uh, and with using the cabling and, and light conditioning that I have described previously on the channel, I find the picture quality 100% satisfactory. And most of the cases I'm watching uh, Netflix and DVDs and watching older movies and series and uh, because they have more substance. They, they were really made for people who who use their brains and and uh, and and now the new movies uh, uh, while visually stunning uh, i find uh, a greater and greater shallowness uh, in them uh, that that does and i i just don't even want to watch them and uh, and and if the storyline uh, it just uh, takes you back uh, to to a well how to say this uh, but I am not, it, it's very hard to find new movies which are, have stunning visuals and, and give something to your life to make those watch worthwhile to watch. And, uh, and, uh, and sure, if it's something in 4K, it's stunning to watch, but, uh, but after, I would say, a minute or two, as, as, as long as, at the, at the point when the storyline draws you in, then it will be uh, almost irrelevant whether it's a, a 2K or 4K. Um, and, uh, and a lot of it is really, it depends on the sound. Uh, so if the sound system is not good, then it will make a bigger difference whether it's 4K or not, because then you will remain conscious of the resolution for the entire time and you will appreciate it more but when the sound system that comes with the movies is is really really there then uh, after five minutes you will completely forget the picture quality that's what happens to me in my stereo system i can watch uh, actually now i'm watching like a, a series um called uh, Foley's War that was shot something like in the 50s or something like that and it's like a BBC series and it's like it was done on a VHS tape and it was digitized from a VHS tape so it, 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 its picture quality is like uh, like like really really behind and, and uh, it's like going back in time and and uh, using and seeing you know those PAL and NTSC uh, CRT TV screens, so which is like a really really far cry from anything we have today. But the sound I get from it is is just so natural, and uh, and and so and even the three dimensionality of it is so much better than ninety percent of the modern surround movies is that it draws me in much more than uh, 
than many of the new uh, fancy movies done today. And uh, if you want that uh, incredible experience, then I, I also recommend to focus on the sound system. And, uh, and now let's see whether this solution does have a sound system that can give you that experience that draws you in so much that the picture quality truly becomes only a secondary consideration. And here I can't tell anything about these speakers because it's, it's photoshopped. So on this picture, look at that. I don't see the speakers. I, I see a, a computer generated image. Uh, probably they made this picture before they even built the prototype of the loudspeaker because you see this I don't see anything in this is not a real loudspeaker now let's go here uh, same thing here this is not a real loudspeaker this is a, a something photoshopped here a third photoshop picture I, I cannot tell zero about it here they, they show a center channel, but in the description of the system, it says it's a 4.1 channel. And at other, other times it says 4.2 channel system. So I have no idea what you are getting. Uh, and, and, and 4 point anything, it means that there is no center channel. Then why are they showing a center channel here? Because when you look at, at this screen, there is no center channel here. You are looking here, no center channel here. You are looking here, no center channel. So I, I have no clue what this system entails. And uh, let's see. It says powerful sound, da da da. Uh, but now, okay, let's not go with the description. Let's just look at, uh, at the speaker, how it looks like. I don't know what material this loudspeaker is built from. Um, could be MDF or, or maybe as the picture suggests, it might be a molded plastic box. If it's molded plastic, then uh, for me, that's just off the menu. Uh, that's, uh, that will give you a plastic sound. Uh, when we go and look into the other statistics of this loudspeaker, we will see that it is a very low impedance, abysmal sensitivity loudspeaker. And it comes with a thousand watt uh, amplification, so so it will mean that it will uh, most likely have this uh, heavy boomy sound that will sound uh, very uh, punchy and and very powerful. Uh, and if you are coming uh, from a background that you only listen to movies, you don't listen to acoustic music then you will probably appreciate this sound a lot because when you go to the movie theater the big difference between the theater and your home is that the theater you have that that raw power that 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 sound pressure and and, and the bass is uh, has that energy that you don't have at home and this solution uh, with that uh, really high current guzzling uh, drivers and uh, and very high power amplification, it will most likely give you an experience that that will resemble that of a movie theater at the first hearing. But when you uh, install it and you live with it for a month, then you will realize that there are really major differences between how these sounds and how the movie theater sounds. Uh, for one thing, you will realize that uh, you are hearing probably just that one note boomy bass here, and you you have that plastic artificial sound on anything. And when it's movies, they process the sound to 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 the wazoo, so it doesn't really matter if your loudspeaker adds another layer of processing. It, uh, it's just a movie anyway. But if you try to listen to a violin concerto then uh, you will just blink in surprise like what on earth am i listening to it's uh, it's like a plastic violin or, or what's getting what's happening here like or, or, or strings on a cat uh, so you are getting probably strings on a cat sound uh, from these loudspeakers and uh, 
what what else so so here because they give this for us they don't mention it's part of the system but if it's part of the system this center channel then i would not recommend this at all because when you look at it uh, all of these drivers here are uh, are basically front horn loaded and horn loading i really like that and i really uh, recommend for everyone to horn load their drivers uh, but this is done here the wrong way so if you try to do it this way then that's why uh, horns get such a bad rap because look here at the tweeter this is where it's very visible that that horn loading they did to it well, nowadays they they call these small horns waveguides it's the fancy way of calling them uh, but actually waveguides all of them are horns uh, it is a conical waveguide and and uh, conical waveguides conical horns are an absolute big no no so if you see that the recessing is straight the worst is when it's like straight like this so it doesn't flare out at all the, avoid that like the plague if it flares out if it's a straight flare avoid that as well if it flares out and it curves out then it's done properly and uh, if it's like a tiny flare uh let, let's show you so here on my my woofers here you see the the uh, woofer is not on in the front of the baffle so i did not mount so you don't see the frame of the woofer it's behind the baffle so it's but people just usually just slap it in front of the loudspeaker that's the worst thing you can do recess it behind the baffle that's one better step and you see what i did i used a second layer so i didn't just recess it behind the front baffle I added it one more ring behind it and it's mounted to that second ring and that second ring it's mounted to the front baffle and that gives it that gives the woofer a little bit of uh, horn loading front horn loading and what it does is that uh, now my 16 inch driver has basically the acoustic impedance of a of a 20 inch woofer because when it moves the air out the air will start uh, basically spilling over to the sides and the loudspeaker job would be to move it back and front to 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 have the sound pressure reach you and and as the frequ frequencies are higher it can do this job but as the frequencies drop then most of the pressure will be lost towards the sides and and the, the, the wider your woofer the lower frequencies it can handle without these uh, losses and and what i am adding here is that making this transition area bigger than it was originally and thus the drivers will work as if they were larger diameter drivers and uh, but doing it wrong this is doing it wrong because you see in this case it is a straight thing and uh, and when we are talking about uh, tweeters or mid-range drivers then the horn will uh, the slightest errors in the horn will color the sound extremely when we are talking about a woofer if you just add this uh, shallow tiny horn it will in, uh, change the uh, acoustic impedance a lot of the driver but it will not add uh, as much noticeable colorations as as wood in the higher frequency range because because that part of the baffle that affects the frequency range between uh, 500 hertz and uh, 300 hertz and that is way below that zone where our uh, ears are acutely sensitive to horn colorations where our ears are really sensitive for that that's between the i would say around the one to 
five kilohertz range if if there we have a, a problem it's it's going to be really really bad i would say even like going down to 600 hertz uh, if you mess up anything between 600 hertz and 5 kilohertz with uh, improperly horn loading uh, drivers uh, it will be uh, a casualty of uh, <laughs> design and that's why horn speakers get a bad rap because of screwed up horns between 600 hertz and 5 kilohertz so what else do i want to talk about this system so actually i don't even want to go look at, at the numbers and figures uh, because uh, the, I, I cannot relate it to anything so so i would just um, summarize this is that uh, if it's at a really great price and you really need a home theater and it's a bargain uh probably at the price they are selling it uh, the competitors have uh, most likely uh, something similar so so if if, if it's something uh, uh truly great price then get it um uh, people gave uh, really good reviews about it i i'm really shocked five out of five but uh, most likely they probably just wanted something you know just to watch the f new movies on it and, and enjoy it um, I'm probably uh, new movies are enjoyable on it, but uh, if you want to listen to uh, what uh, I would listen for, like uh, music instruments, like uh, playing of the violin or, or listening to music as well, if you want to use these as uh, music speakers, uh, then it's I, I will give it a fail mark. So never ever get this to listen to music. Uh, and or 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 don't listen to a concert like that. I don't think it will sound any any pleasing with this. Um, so I hope uh, Ramsey, it it will uh, help you a little bit to guide you and give you ideas uh, what this system can do for you and what to look for if you are looking for. I I would really suggest for you if you can find a, a solution just get a two channel uh, stereo for the movies get floor stander speakers they will give you uh, that uh, uh, energy and presence and and fill the room with sound that that you want for home theater uh, for bookshelf speakers making them work as as front speakers or main speakers with your system it's much much harder to do you need a high quality subwoofer to make them work which will make it more expensive than using a pair of floor standards and much more complicated if you want in the future go towards expanding your system for uh, working better for acoustic music then if uh, two bookshelves and a sub is a harder way to expand than having uh, two proper floor standards. Unfortunately, floor standards cost more money than bookshelf. And uh, for for uh, for the best sound, I would really recommend to go and look for used speakers and uh, just look at uh, what sort of uh, floor standards you can find, which are uh, which have been highly recommended and uh, for amplification go for amplifiers that work with that uh, loudspeaker system if it's very efficient then go for uh, tube amplifiers that if you can find them at an affordable price and uh, if they have low efficiency like these these are 81 db efficient uh, according to the catalog which is even by today's standards is uh, is is like dead dead as a dodo like really uh nowadays you can barely find anything below 83 db 81 is is absolutely abysmal um and um yep so so that's it i hope it was helpful uh so thank you everyone for watching i hope it gave you ideas bye bye